Hi, I'm Jim Parsons. I play Michael in the new film Spoiler Alert, and my favorite cinema is the Angelica Film Center on Houston Street in New York City. I love that they show films that you can't find at necessarily every theater. Well, we've been here since 1989. The founder, Joseph Salehi, opened it to provide an area where you could have independent films. So he was very successful with that, and that was a linchpin of the independent Hollywood cinema coming up in the 1990s. Tarantino with Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, many of those films started here and provided an area for New Yorkers and tourists and everyone else, cinephiles, really, to come and, and, and watch those. When we select films for the Angelica, we take a lot of care. We specialize in independent film and foreign film, and we just go out and track films by all sorts of directors all over the world, and then we go to film festivals and we look at as many films as we can to try to get the best possible film for the theater. There's a special mystique about opening films at the Angelica. Oftentimes we open first in the country before anyone else, and films have a different journey after that. There's a lot of times that people come to the theater not knowing what they're gonna watch, and they just pick a film at the box office because they trust our taste and like the kind of curation that we have offered over the years. Being able to offer people those films is very rewarding. They offer a lot of talkbacks or, you know, sessions where they'll lead you through a movie or afterwards. Most of the, the films that open here have a Q&A on the opening weekend. That's a great opportunity for the audience to ask questions to the filmmakers and actors. And we started a YouTube channel where we feature all these Q&As, so they're all featured there. And I really like the size of the theaters. To me, they're old fashioned before there was so many megaplexes and things like that. And I'm just more comfortable in, a, in that situation. Although I do love a big stadium sometimes, but this is my favorite. So we're a part of the historically protected cable building. All of our theaters are known for being less wide and more narrow and longer. And that's because of the original intent of the building was to use them for all the cable cars from uh, Midtown to Lower Manhattan. And they would bring them in to what now is our theaters in one way or another and maintain them. So that the long narrowness of the auditoriums would be great for housing a couple of train cars through the night. We have six theaters ranging from 74 seats to two theaters at 240 seats. This location is the Angelica Film Center and Cafe New York. This is the main theater. This was the first one that was open in 1989. And this is where all the other theaters come from. The significance of the cafe is that there's, there's very few, if any, theaters in New York City that have this large of a footprint um, that reserve it for a cafe. So to have this large of a space, anybody that's been in New York for more than five minutes knows that you're being pushed out the door of any cafe that you're going to, can't really get any work done. So to come here and have an area that has Wi-Fi, that has coffee and beer and wine available to you, that really provides a space that you can do what you need to creatively and provide that forum for great films. It feels like you're part of a community, a part of people that love cinema. There's a very unique feeling of like the people that come to this cafe. The NoHo and SoHo neighborhood hasn't changed a whole lot in at least the last eight or 10 years. It's now getting back on its feet since reopening after the pandemic. But a lot of this area has changed in part by NYU, but still keeping the artist vibe, whether it be through fashion outlets that are down the street or the shopping district or a few blocks up in NoHo with NYU and Washington Square Park. I mean, a lot of it has been preserved pretty well. Artists over the years in this community have come here and there's very few places that the films that we show can do as successful as they are. And it's great to see how well the films will do, um, partially because of the location that, that we're in. New York is just a beautiful city. Like you have so many different areas, but also like the city, it's a character, right? It's like, it's its own thing. You don't really have to leave the city to kind of um, 
get a little bit of around the world. New York in and of itself is the best of many places without having to really leave the, the, the city limits.